Hello, welcome to Outdoor Central. Today we are making wool embers. So you'll need, I have Berkeley, that's the name brand, but steel line neon coated wire. Right there. Oh, might be backwards. But I got that at Northwoods for four bucks. This is the 45 pound, and that's 30 feet, and I also have 30 pound, 30 feet, which, same stuff, just 30 pounds, so 15 pound difference. Then I have wire leader connector sleeves, also Berkeley. I got these at Jerry's for two bucks. I also have some at Nor I bought at Northwoods, and those are two bucks. Uh, this is 15 to 45. This is pretty much what you'll be needing unless you're going out in the ocean to catch shark or something. Wire cutters, cut your wire, and some players to sque squeeze your wire connectors together. Okay, you need a variety of beads. You need a variety of beads. Well, unless you can only do one, I have clear. Gold, I have a green in there because my stuff looks to get mixed up. Okay. Green, green, red, blue. And I got some hooks, I got treble hooks. This works with five, so then you also need some spinners. And with that, you need spinner connector connectors. You're not sure what they call, but they look like this. Those are like two bucks at Northwoods. And then I have some of these. I'm not sure what these are called. I forgot. Okay, to start off, we'll take, make a 45 pound one. We'll take some wire, which really, I put a hole in mine, but there'll be a, like a piece of tape or uh, like a sticker over this hole, peel that sticker off, and you get, and then you can just pull the wire out. This one, forgot about the sticker and just put a hole in. Yeah. <laughs> so, take about not too much. <laughs> about this much wire, probably about five inches to a foot. And this is what you use your wire cutter for. Wire cutters for. So just cut it. Cut right off. And now I'm not good at tying, so I just use my wire leader connector sleeves and just connect everything. <laughs> so first we're gonna make a loop. We'll do the hook loop first. That's what I usually do. Well, no, I usually do the other loop. But this will only be a single treble hook. One. Ouch. Okay. So, what you want to do, get a steel leader. Put steel leader on. I mean, wire leader. Sleep. I don't know why I want to say steel. Off today, sorry about that. And then, so I got my sleeve connector right here, and I have my treble hook here. So we're gonna take this piece of wire. Oop. So we're gonna put this wire back into here. So I just bend it, push it in. Um, okay, and then we're just gonna push it in until you see a little bit come out. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, put my thumb behind it. See that? I'll slide it back some. That way it creates a smaller loop. Like so. So it should look like this. Okay, now that we have that on, 
we can put beads on. So I'm gonna do a red, white, and blue one. I've already made a few of them, but oh well. So I'm gonna put red, red on. Put my red one on, and I'm gonna do the white one. Like so. I'm gonna do a few of this pattern and then I'm gonna put a spinner connector on. <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna call it. I forgot the I'm name. Starting of it. Laundry so you gotta speak up. Why do, why are you starting laundry? Give me a Okay. So. No. I have a basket I have a basket still full. Take your hoodie out first. I'll just get my hoodie out. So. Sorry, our laundry room is right in this way my work shop is. So, I uh, got a pattern going there red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Then, for every three of those patterns, I'm going to put a spin connector on. So Sorry, and I do not have speed up process here. <laughs> I'll be back when I put my first spin connector on. See you then. Okay, I'm back. So I have my pattern of three red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. So now I'm gonna get out my spin connectors. This is only like a $10 project, unless you want to invest some money into it. I probably have 20 bucks in the mine. Well, the case was like 10, 5, five 10 bucks. And everything else is like 2, five buck, two to 5 bucks. So, I mean, everything adds up. I gotta put these on right too. So, say this is where you're gonna hook it to your line, to your uh, leader, or to your line. You're gonna want to make sure this hat looking thing on your spin connector okay, hat looking thing yeah, ah, it's not focusing now. see the hat looking thing right there and the top of it I guess because it kind of looks like an A almost you know those weird looking A's yes So it goes like this. This is your top, this is your bottom. You want to put the bottom down first. Jason Kyle are here. Cool. I'm going to Jason Kyle. Do the red, the white, and blue thing for three more times. And then, yeah, I'll be back. So this is where I'm at. I have my spin connector on, and I have red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. So. I now I'm gonna put my last wire lead my wire can wire sleeve on. And then you wanna usually just cut off what's remaining. And we're like this. Ah oh, frick I just dropped one of my beads. Yeah, be careful when you do that. Okay. So like this. This one I did, I don't have to cut off anything because I had it small enough to where not gonna do anything. Okay. I don't want to mess. See the mess. It's kind of messy back in here. Slide this back in. So with like doing the hook, but it's not gonna be a set. I might need some players for this too. Depending on which mine. First lead I have to cut. Oh, I don't think I'm going to Okay.
Um, we're gonna have to get this one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Turns out I've been pushing and pulling the wrong one, which happens a lot. Okay, whatever. I don't want to go with it. Go with it. The wire's right there, so it's not going to make a difference. Now, if your wire's only like halfway down the sleeve, yeah, it's going to have another made one like that. And so then you're going to take the pliers, grab your connector. I lost my hook because I'm retarded and I'm going to do it too nicely. There's a hook on the ground, so I'm going to do it. Stupid me. Okay, so. Sleeve, squeeze it really good. Turns. My grandpa, the one who taught me this skill, was um, he has some nice ones. Nice players, you know, you got the cutters and the thing they were made for it. So I do not want to just stand here. Which one up to my jacket somewhere? I'll be back. Okay. After. I actually looked past it first time, <laughs> surprisingly. So, we're gonna hook back in. This time I'm actually gonna clamp it. So, just like what I showed you. It's actually kinda easier. You don't wanna get, you don't wanna grab wire down here you want to grab right on the connector i don't know why it's not i don't know why it's not the least thing she usually focuses but, okay. i Perfect. And it just stuck straight in. <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> okay, so now take your plunge again and you're gonna squeeze it just like the last one. Squeeze pretty hard. Okay. And I wouldn't suggest you just go testing it. And I really don't want to get to well here. Really. Yeah. Don't do this at home unless you are not gonna like sue me or whatever, even though I really don't have to worry about that because I'm such a small chair. Three subscribers, that's it. Hey, but it's a life. So, as you can see, that's on. That's on. Last but not least, turn the spinner on. Let's do that. Okay, so red, white, and blue. What do we do? A blue spinner. I have a fish cord spinner. So we're going to share my spinner first. I need some more. I need some more beads too. But 
And there's these uh, black spinner connectors too. They're longer. Those are also at Northwoods. They're also at Jay's too. So I have a neon orange one. Colored fish one. I had one that was perch colored. It was long, so that was really cool. That's in my grandpa's shirt right now. And then the neon yellow one. And they're blue. Cool. So I'm going to put that one on. Pretty simple. There's three. I keep looking at myself. So you grab the back of your spinner connector, put this up the top, and you just push it. Until it's up. No, there's probably easier way, easier ways out there too. So. Push my way. That's how it's taught. You now have yourself a nice homemade DIY while I lure. That works. Like, spin some things. Yeah. Go out, buy some worms, put on the treble hook, and cast her in the water. Well, actually, I forgot to test it. <laughs> I'm so dumb. So, what I usually do, I grab a pair of needle nose. Oh, this is my closest pair. And Get my regular pliers. And I don't want to pull 45 pounds hard, which is actually pretty, pretty freaking tough. But just enough that way, you know, a bluegill ain't gonna break it. And this is used more than for walleye. Yeah, it's a walleye lure, but you can use it for bass, rock bass. So as you can see, it's not breaking. It's good. You can use it for walleye, that is perch, gills, pretty much anything. Well, any fish that likes worms or spinning things. <laughs> okay. That's the rest of this video. Like and subscribe. Catch you all in the next video. One last thing I forgot. My it's box. Plano. It's for like fishing and stuff. Yeah, I should have got a taller box because where it kind of sticks up, so it kind of just a little, you gotta push this down. Fine. But keep my tool spinners, my parts pretty much back here, my hooks, my beads, and wiring and other random stuff. I usually throw my hooks up here, or sometimes my connectors and stuff. So yeah, I got most of the stuff at Jay's, in Gray Gaylord, I almost said Grayman, but yeah.